I've liked this since the first time I tried it before I sold it. And if I wasn't selling it tomorrow, I'd still be using it because I think it's the best leader and tippet material that I've used. One of the first things that people notice about Trout Hunter is it's packaged different. Uh, you know, the spools, both the tippet spools uh, come in a bag that's uh, easily ripped open, but it's really a, a UV packaging to protect it from hmm. ultraviolet light. Uh, and once you take the spool out, even the elastic that holds the material on uh, is a UV protected that. So, you know, especially in the case of monofilament, it should last longer when it's hanging on the shelf in the shop. And when someone buys it, you can be pretty assured that it's fresh material. What I really like about the Trial Hunter offerings in Tippet is, first of all, the nylon offering. I find that it's really supple, has a lot of really good stretch, and I don't feel that I break off very many fish. Um, one thing to consider is that with the half sizes in Tippet, for instance, you have from four to four and a half, five to five and a half, a lot of people are going to say that it's just marketing ploy or you know some sort of gimmick, but at the end of the day, it's just another tool. It's something that you have an option to turn to. You know, I think that they offer a lot of different configurations you don't see as a standard leader length, for example. You know, they have the typical nine foot leaders in the Finesse series. They also have 10 foot leaders in their Trout series and another longer version in 14 and 12 foot options. You know, Henry's Fork, there are a lot of uh, Japanese visitors that come there. And uh, I guess when Renee and the folks there got an idea of looking at doing some of this, they knew quite a few people that you know do it contacts to find the very best factories to uh, to get it uh, out of and, and that's where it comes out of you look at it you see the brand you know that it's tested you know that it's been tested and tried on the henry's fork in idaho um, you know that they have big fish there you know they have wild fish and it's a notoriously tough fishery and if this is something that they're willing to put their name on you know that you can trust it for that